Um, I'm in the car today. <laughs> My daughter is at home. Um, it is school time and um, it's not holidays. Um, but I've been chucked out of my office again um, because she's at home today and so I am waiting to pick up the other one. So I'm stood here in the car and this is where this week's video comes to you from. So apologies for the for the background, for this, for the look, look, I'm in the sat, sat, anyway, don't really matter where I am, does it? I'm in the car bringing you this week's little message. Um, which I thought I would talk about my millionaire's walk. I did mention my millionaire's walk in a video a couple of weeks ago and I got quite a few comments from people kind of saying, I love that idea, what is it? Tell me more about it. So that's what this is about today. So stick around to hear about that. Please like, please subscribe, please share, stay with me. Um, I'm full of these little pills of wisdom. Um, but yes, today, my millionaire's walk. So basically what I learned um, probably about a year, 18 months ago now, is that, you know, when you're working with your mind and you're working with the law of attraction and you're trying to bring into your life what you want and what you dream about and things that, you know, you want to up level, you want to just change your every day, you want to change your your life, your, you, you know, what you're living and what you're doing. And one of the things and one of the easiest things that I learned was about putting yourself into the shoes of the people that you want to be, of having that life that you want to have. And so for me, I, for all the time I've been living in New Zealand, I've been living in a one story house and it's well documented if you follow me that I don't like, I don't like living in what I call, from the UK, I call it a bungalow. Now, the reason I don't like it is because when you grow up in the UK, you move into a bungalow, you move into a one-story house when you when you're past it, when you're retired, and when you can't manage stairs anymore. You know, like, there's an abundance of land here in New Zealand, and so people build out rather than building up if you're not in like the major cities like Auckland. So where I am, you are in one story houses, unless you're ridiculously, ridiculously rich. And they live in the two story houses. But for me, it was always the other way around. Um, in the UK, two story houses are the norm. And you kind of have, um, you know, these one story houses, as I say, when you're retired and you go into like granny flats or bungalows or whatever, when you've got too old to manage your staircases anymore. And so all the time I've been living here in New Zealand, I've had this one story home. And I tell you, it's my biggest bugbear because it makes me feel like I'm past it. It makes me feel old and it makes me feel like um, New Zealand as a whole makes me feel old, actually. New Zealand, like I was saying, sorry, somebody phoned me, so I had to stop there. New Zealand as a whole makes me feel old because it's quite a quiet country. I mean, it's beautiful, don't get me wrong, it's lovely, scenery is amazing, but scenery only takes you so far, right? Um, and so I actually feel like I've retired anyway, and then I live in this one-story home, which makes me feel a little bit more like I've retired. So... I want to get some vibrancy back and one of the things that I want is a two-story house. One of the things that I miss from the UK is a two-story house and when I manifest moving back to the UK, which I will do, I shall have a detached four-bedroom with a study two-story house. That's in my dream day journal. That's part of something that I visualise every day. But a part of that, I go on this millionaire's walk. And what that means is I there's a, there's a couple of streets in my neighbourhood that are rich streets, right? They are the streets that they're lovely. They're like tree lined. I mean, I'm sat in one now. Right? This is where I come to pick up the girls from school because it's like this stunning. I'm looking out the window. It's this stunning tree lined street. It's called Park Street. It's got like these this canopy of trees this side. And if we go this side, I'm at the park, which is a lovely expanse of green and trees and nature. And it's just beautiful. And all the way along, I mean, you can see one behind me all the way along this street are beautiful, beautiful 
to four houses. And it's known for being one of the streets here that people just adore. And so I park here every day because I am in this street, which puts me in this energy, which shows me all around me by parking here daily. It's saying to my mind, this is where you belong. These are the houses you should live in. This is the kind of street you want. This is the neighborhood that you in your subconscious want to be in. So that's one part of what I do. But the other part is there is another couple of streets that are, again, stunning, beautiful, big, big houses. There's, there's actually even a, um, a suburb here with a man-made lake in the middle of it. And everybody there has boats and there's a jetty and it's beautiful and it's a gated community. It's very exclusive. So you go walk around that, you go walk around that exclusive suburb. Um, so you put yourself in that place, you put yourself in that energy. And while you're there, you visualize yourself living in one of those houses. You visualize that being your home. You walk around that neighborhood and in your, in your head, you are giving yourself messages of this is where I belong. This is where the people that have millions and millions of dollars live. This is the exclusivity that I want. This is where I am going to be. This is part of the dream, the abundance, the feelings of being abundant, the feelings of being rich, the feelings of having everything you want with the boats and, you know, the millionaire lifestyle and the boat club and the gated exclusivity of it all. That, if you put yourself there, if you go and walk around those neighborhoods, if you put yourself in those places, your subconscious takes on your dream and your visualization because it can see it. It's like when you want a new car, you can do this with that too. If you wanted a new car, for example, you would get specific about the kind of car that you want. You know the make, you know the model, you know how much it costs, you know how much you need to, to bring it in. You go and test drive it. You put your hands on the steering wheel and in your mind, you see yourself in that car, driving that car. You are in the energy of that car that you want. It's the same thing with the houses, with the millionaire walk. You're putting yourself in the energy you are telling the universe and your subconscious that I can have this because I'm here and this is where I belong and you are inserting yourself that's why I did a video on this a couple of weeks ago that's what they mean by doing the work you know in manifesting you're told to have your desire get specific about what you want watch for the breadcrumbs and then do the work well the work is that the work is doing the research about the kind of house, going and visiting the neighborhoods, walking around it, visualizing yourself there and showing your subconscious that you can be in that place, that you can have that lifestyle, that you are in that energy. And that's what I mean by my millionaire's walk. So for any of you that want a new house, for any of you that want to up level your house, your, your life, your lifestyle, whatever it is, Go and test drive your ideal car. Go and walk around the neighborhood, the ideal place, and look at the houses that are the type of houses that you want to live in. Do your research. Figure out what neighborhood it is that you want. Look at the houses online. Put yourself in the energy of already having it. And that's how you get a step closer and how you prove to your mind you can have what you want. So I hope that's cleared up what I meant by my millionaire's walk. I do that every day. I walk around that neighborhood every single day and every single day I visualize myself in those houses, in that neighborhood, up leveling my life. And actually it makes me feel abundant and it makes me feel happy, which in turn raises my energy because I'm exercising for once, the endorphins are flowing, I'm visualizing as I'm walking, so the, the mind's going, I'm feeling in the energy which makes me upbeat, which actually aligns me even more to what I want. It's like a triple whammy, you can't lose. So there you go. Hope that explains it a bit more. 
Um, I'll see you next week. Bye.